Well, anyway, and the, the host team. organ of the uh, Squatters Movement, uh, the whole C Squat, since 1984. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yeah, 1984, that's right. Because the Democratic Convention was going on, and we had our camp in Golden Gate Park. The Rainbow family came down, and we'd be doing it back then. It's, uh, that's part of history for sure. So Clark is going to sit down in his chair, and I got Benjamin Brown. Hey, Benjamin, welcome. The place was Minneapolis, Minnesota. The neighborhood of Dickytown, and the, neighbor, the, the neighborhood was called Dickytown, the Bohemian Corner of Minneapolis by the University of Minnesota. And he said, Dave, I've written a song. And we happen to have my father-in-law's uh, real, real uh, tape recorder, and, uh, and uh, there you go. Take it away, brother. <laughs> song to Woody. Good. Hey, guys, he's good. Average. Guys, come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. This is uh, this is Bob Dylan's first song. I'm not here a thousand miles from home. Walking the road with a man gone. Well, I'm seeing your work.
Now the very last thing that I want to do He just read, uh, he had just read uh, Woody Guthrie's, uh, Woody Guthrie's uh, Bound for Glory in Minneapolis. <laughs> and uh, that's where he talked about, well, of course, Woody talks about uh, traveling and riding freight trains around with Cisco and Cisco Houston. And then meeting up with Lead Belly. And uh, I started to get recorded on the folklore records way back then. So, and, and after, so he took that song. And then, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, Val. Yeah. Could you find uh, Tom Jode by Woody Guthrie? Yeah, yeah. sure can. Tom Jode. Because he, uh, he had just, uh, the, the, the sun was coming through this morning. He had just read the book. And uh, he just finished the book. And he said, I want you, uh, something I want you to hear. And he always had a, he his guitar. And he sang this song we're going to play after this. It was, a, it was his first Guthrie song. And it was a story of grapes of wrath. Tom Jode just got out of the McAllister farm. The story of grapes of wrath. And he said it was for people who couldn't uh, afford to go to the movie and couldn't read the book. And uh, then I came this and he decided he'd better do some hard traveling. So he, got, he, so he went to go see Woody. He put his thumb out. It wasn't so hard traveling then because it was before the inter interstate. And the only traveler I have to admit he's 18 years old he had done was uh, get on the uh, ground bus from Hibbing, Minnesota to Minneapolis, Minnesota. He was supposed to be, go, go, he was supposed to be assiduously attending classes. But instead, his mother put him in this Jewish fraternity. He's a good Jewish boy, Bobby Zimmerman. But instead, he, somebody brought him by my living room, where was one of the biographies that uh, Bob Dylan says that Dave Whitaker, that's me, at cheap Mexican marijuana at a time was a rarity on college campuses. And so that's pretty much what we're doing in 1961, pretty funny but true. And out of that, he decided to go see Woody. And the rest is history, history, and hipstery. So well, here we are in 2001-3, here in the beautiful day in the Mission District. Hey, folks, and here we are together. Is that right? Woo! And here we are, Brother Benjamin Brown, who featured at the, I want to say a couple things right now, who featured at the, uh, at a, uh, some, uh, it's now three years, I think it's called the Mission Community, Mission Community, uh, Community of the Market, and it's far